All right, people. So I want to talk about more of the rise of, Do of Donald Trump here in the polls. So, I mean, as all the scandals come out, come out on Hillary, as all the truths come out on Hillary re regarding her health, as we see more shit coming out now about how unhealthy she is and how little stamina she has and how little energy she has and how much her health is going down the shitter, people are realizing that, well, maybe Hillary is not the right answer. And as we see so many scandals with the numerous email scandals, Benghazi, uh, uh, you know, the... the, the um, the women who allege Bill Clinton has raped them. I mean, there, there's so many fucking scandals coming out, coming out on Hillary. And more are to come out now because now we have the um, WikiLeaks emails that, that, are going, that are going to come out in the future. I mean, is Hillary, can Hillary even make it through a debate? I mean, with her health, with her health problems? I mean, it, it, she, her schedule is very much lighter than Donald Trump. So can she even make it through a 90-minute debate standing up? at a podium handing all handling all that pressure because remember last time she did the little seizure thing where she shook her head like this is when reporters cornered her and asked her when we're asking her questions and she fucking freaked out so i mean is she going to be able to handle all you know i mean what if she fucking just faints during a debate or fucking falls down i mean what the f i mean she's done if that happens so I, I, I think there's much more room for Hillary to, to lose ground or to, 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 to um, be damaged in the, in the public view than Donald Trump because you have you know that things are going to come out that are going to hurt Hillary or at least aren't going to help her like the, the, the emails that WikiLeaks has. Um, and Hillary, I mean, look at like over the past month, there's been so many health things that have happened to her health related issues like the coughing, the fainting. Now the the the, the so-called pneumonia. Does she really have pneumonia? Who the fuck knows that? I mean, her doctor comes out and says she has pneumonia. Could that could that just be a cover for something more serious? Yeah, because Hillary Clinton has never lied before, you know. So, I mean, she's had so many health related related issues over the past couple months. There's bound to be another one to happen, and it just seems that they keep getting more increasingly, I guess, violent or or serious, like. First it was the coughing, and then it was fucking fainting. I mean, she looked like weekend weekend at Bernie's there. You know, they were just fucking holding her up, dragging her into a van. So I mean, there, there, there's a lot of shit that's happening with Hillary. The the Democrats are probably panicking right now. I mean, I hear there's plans to maybe institute another person. You know, they're they're talking about what if Hillary, you know, can't make it to the November eighth. Who the fuck are they going to put in then? So, I mean, the Democrats are fucking panicking. The poll numbers are dramatically shifting in favor of Trump. A new poll just came out. Trump up six points. Ohio, Trump is up. Florida, Trump's up. Nevada. So, I mean, this this race is pr pretty much neck and neck right now. And I think Trump is, I, I, I've said, I think Trump is a slight favorite um, because it, it's pretty much neck and neck right now. I mean, it's, I mean, it, it, it's very, very even right now. According to the polls, um, and there's only more shit that negative shit that could happen to Clinton. I don't see Clinton getting too much more popular from here on out. Uh, I think Trump's been doing a great job of making the the talking. You know, in the media, they're, they're not talking about the con controversy, aka the con job. They're not talking about uh, Trump's uh, campaign manager's ties to Russia. They're not talking about. Um, you know, shit like that. They're talking about real issues. And I think since the candidates have um, very high negative numbers, both of them do, this this campaign is going to be won, or this, this election is going to be won on who's talked about more, the negatives. And right now, the negatives of Hillary Clinton are being talked about. Her health, how she called half of Trump supporters basket of deplorables pretty much saying half of Trump supporters are like racist, sexist, homophobic people. So, and Trump's been doing, like I said, a great job over the past month of focusing the election back on issues like immigration. Um, and he's done many good policy speeches over the past really couple months, uh, really, really focusing this election back on real issues instead of issues that don't matter, like the con uh, story. So, I think Trump's been doing a great job, and I think he's going to continue to do a great job. Um, like I said, you got the debates, you got 
the emails coming out, you have a possible health possible health issues happening with Hillary. So I think all those factors included, this election is a slight favorite for Donald Trump right now because I see it neck and neck right now. Um, the electoral college process probably favors Hillary, meaning that, well, maybe Trump will slightly win the popular vote, but that doesn't really matter because it's all about the electoral college, which is kind of fucked up, but that's how it works. So while Trump, may, may, let's say Trump wins by a little bit, the popular vote, but maybe electoral the le- electoral votes, well, Clinton, Clinton might edge him out there. So like I said, it's kind of fucked up how that works. Um, we'll, we'll see how it plays out, though. Um, but, I mean, there, there, there's some key states that, that, you know, Trump can win, like Ohio, Florida. You know, if you look at Ohio, Florida, and Pennsylvania, Trump probably has to win two of those three. And he's up right now in Florida and Ohio. Then there's a couple other ones, like a few other key ones, in my opinion. I've looked at the electoral map, like Iowa, um, North Carolina, uh, Nevada, Virginia, he has to win like half of those kind of states that, you know, so he, you know, you, you, I, I kind of like playing around with the electoral college map there and seeing what the fuck has to be done for him to win, but that's uh, crazy people. We'll see what the fuck happens, but I mean, Trump's looking really, really good right now. The polls are, you know, really swing, swinging in his favor. Like I said, a recent, recent one had him up six points in, in the general election. So that's great fucking news right there. Like I said, Democrats are in panic. They are in free fall, and they are going down. And they are going down fast. And we'll see what happens. But, I mean, it's I think it's looking very good right now for Donald Trump. And the other thing we have to look out for is voter fraud or election fraud. Election uh, e- election theft is probably the best word. So if, if, if we see Trump going up in the polls... Um, you know, and it's like neck and neck or very close race. We have to look out for election election theft, meaning that the the establishment, the Democratic establishment, might rig the polls in favor of Hillary Clinton. Um, I mean, people might think, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. You, you don't think, oh, after all the shit Hillary has done with the lying, the emails, everything, that that the Democratic establishment won't rig the fucking polls to put who they want in charge. I mean, there there's so much power, so much money at stake in this election. Think of all the donors that have given to Clinton. Think of everybody who wants Clinton president. Of course they will fucking lie and cheat to win the election. That's called that's what ha- that's what has happened through all of politics. I mean, they lied. They, they, they have killed people for 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 fucking phony wars. I mean, look at look at Iraq. They lied to uh, about weapons of mass destruction to start the Iraq war which led to the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people. So if they're willing to kill hundreds of thousands of people, do you think they're willing to rig the election and cheat to get in? Of course they are. Of course they're willing to do whatever it takes to get Hillary in power. So don't put anything past people. And whenever there's money to be gained or power to be gained, whether that's in politics, whether that's in business, whether that's in any you know venue of life, there will be, people are willing to kill people to do that. People are, are willing to lie, cheat, and steal to, 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 to get shit done, to, to gain power, to gain money. It's happened through all of history. So people need to wake the fuck up and realize that Clintons and the Democrats will do whatever the hell it takes to get into office, to, to, to get power, to get money. And that goes for a lot of people. And, and that goes for Republicans too, a lot of the mainline Republicans. I think the Democrats are worse, but... They're, they're kind of like two evil entities, but um, I think the Democrats are worse. But people on both sides of the spectrum are, are willing to lie, cheat, steal, kill, murder, whatever the fuck, to get into power, to gain power, and to do you know what, uh, what, what, what the big interests want. So there you go, people. I mean, you really got to look at all the facts, and you just got to apply common sense to this you know, issue of election theft. It, it can be done. It's very easy. Numerous news websites have shown how easy it is to hack these voter these these, these voting machines. It, it only takes like ten minutes with a device that costs like fifteen dollars or some shit like that. It's very easy. It's very easy to be done. So we gotta really look out for that. We gotta really you know hopefully take sophisticated sophisticated exit polling to make sure that the exit polls are very close to what the actual results are. So there's many ways to counter it, but um, 
but just be aware of that fact, people. So there you go, people. Trump is uh, surging. Clinton is uh, going down the shitter in the polls. So that, that, that's great news. So it's looking good for Trump. So there you go, people.